What is going on, Pokemon fans? Original 151 here, giving you guys episode 15 of my Pokemon Fire Red LP. In today's episode, we will be taking care of some business here in Celadon City. So, to start things off, let's make our way into the Celadon Mansion. Once you are inside of the Celadon Mansion, you can make your way over to this woman right over here, and she will give you a very valuable item. You shouldn't spend all of your money on drinks. Try this instead. And beautiful, she is going to give us the tea. The tea is a very valuable item you need in order to complete the game. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what it's used for yet, but you will soon find out. Nothing beats thirst like some hot tea. It really is the best. Miss... Thank you so much for the tea, I really appreciate it, and once you guys pick up the tea from that beautiful young lady right over there, you can make your way to the next stop, which is the Celadon Department Store. Alright, let's make our way inside. So basically, the Celadon Department Store is a big-ass shopping mall, which has a variety of items that you can buy at each floor, and they all vary depending on the floor you're on. For example, this floor has all TMs, so we are actually going to pick up a TM. We're going to pick up TM15, which is Hyper Beam. I think this is going to be a great move to teach to one of our team members. All right, come down here. This guy's selling something different. What is he selling? All right, so yeah, he's selling all the t usual items that you'll find at, uh, at a typical mart. So, you know, your antidotes, your potions, your paralyzed heals. So, let's head up to the third floor, see what they're selling. If you talk to this guy, he will teach one of your Pokemon the move Counter. But I'm actually not going to teach any of my Pokemon Counter. You can if you want. It's a pretty decent move. Alrighty, let's head up to floor number four. Okay, and what are they selling? Awesome! They are selling the stones you can use to evolve your Eevee into either a... Flareon. Whoa, Leaf Stone? What the hell? I always thought they sold Fire Stones. I guess in Fire Red, you get a Leaf Stone. And in Leaf Green, you get a Fire Stone. Look at that shit. I had no idea Leafeon was even in this game. All right, anyway, we will be picking up the Thunderstone because we are going to evolve our Eevee into a Jolteon when we pick that bad boy up. Oh, I can't wait to get that Jolteon, man. The nickname I have planned for this guy is Too Badass. So, let's head up to floor number five, see what they're selling. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so they're selling HP ups and proteins and irons. Uh, I don't really recommend buying those until you really need them, like in the Elite Four, for example. So, you really have no need to purchase those now. Over here, you have X attacks, X special, all the X items. Again, I don't really recommend buying those either. They're pretty pointless. I mean, they do help in battle if you're having a lot of trouble. But at this point in the game, if you have a pretty well-balanced team, you shouldn't have any issues with that. Okay, so now we are on the rooftop of the Celadon department store. So let's talk to this guy. My sister is a trainer, believe it or not. But she's so immature, she drives me nuts. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm guessing this is your sister right over here, so let's talk to her. If she could stop moving, I could talk to her. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Alright, let's go over to the vending machine and get this little bitch something to, something to drink. Alright, so we bought a fresh water. Let's give that to her. And we're going to give her the fresh water. Beautiful. Yay, fresh water. Thank you. You can have this from me. And we get TM16, which is light screen. Awesome. It's actually a pretty decent move. I remember back in the old games, you used to be able to get, uh, I think it was Ice Beam from this bitch. But, uh, now she just gives light screens and, uh, other things. Actually, let's buy all the drinks. I think each, damn it, no, I don't want fresh water. Uh, I think each, uh, drink, you get it, what the hell is going on here? There we go, alright. Each drink will give you a different TM. God damn it, why do I keep, this vending machine is pissing me off. Alright, there we go. So now let's give her the other drinks that we have. I'm thirsty! <laughs> this bitch is really thirsty. Alright, let's give her a soda pop. Yay, soda pop! Thank you! You can have this from me! Awesome, and now she gives us TM20, which is safeguard. Awesome. Another good strategic move. Alright, let's give her the lemonade, I think, is left. Yay! Lemonade! <laughs> Thank you! You can have this from me! And she's gonna give us TM33, which is... Reflect. Awesome! So we are going to teach those moves to our Pokemons at some point in this LP. Alright, now that we took care of that, let's head out. Let's 
go down all these steps over here. Couple more things we gotta take care of before we go and do the Team Rocket hideout. That's why all the Team Rocket grunts are in the city. They have taken over Celadon City, and we are going to get to the bottom of this. All right. Now that we're done over there, let's make our way uh, west. Let's let Thomas cut down this tree. Thank you, Thomas. Please do the honors, kind sir. All right, and let's make our way... Are these two trainers? Sometimes the intensity of our love scares me. Yes, they are trainers. All right, so let's battle this chick right here. All right. Young couple, Leah and Jed. How you doing, Leah and Jed? All right, and they have a Rapidash and a Ninetales. Ah, that's actually a pretty good team right there. That's awesome. But we have Boris and we have Oswald. Oh, man, this is like Battle of the Fire Types and Boris. <laughs> All right, so let's Boris tackle that guy, and let's use a Mega Punch on the Rapidash. That should knock out the Rapidash. That thing's actually at a pretty high level. Wow, yeah, it did knock it out. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, and Boris lives! Attaboy, Boris! All right, and she's going to use a Safeguard. What does Safeguard do? Add Special Defense, I believe. All right, so uh, I really don't want Boris to die. You switch out? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to switch out. Wait, how do you even do this? All right, let's put him past Squall. You know, I guess you can't swap. Fuck it. All right, let's... Oh, no, I can. Yeah, okay, so that's good. All right, and let's use another Mega Punch on this Rapidash. So we're going to pull Boris out so he doesn't die, and we're going to throw in past Squall. Man, this is like the dream team right here. Past Squall and Oswald. And down goes the Rapidash. Awesome, Boris is going to get some experience. And bam, Boris is at level 18. Awesome. Two more levels until he becomes a Gyarados. And that is going to be so fucking badass. And are you really going to use Ember on a Charizard? Come on, you stupid whore. Let's use a Magnitude. And let's use a Wing Attack. Alright, maybe that Wing Attack will take that. Eh, we were close. But the Magnitude will do the rest of the damage. Awesome. And it doesn't affect Oswald because that motherfucker has wings and he can fly. Awesome. Little update for you guys. My voice is feeling much better, thank God. In the last episode, I wanted to apologize. I couldn't do any of the voices to the best of my ability. It was really bothering me. But now I'm back better than ever. So, let's get this LP on the way. What the hell does that mean? We already are underway. <laughs> anyway, let's head in here. Talk to this guy. How you get in? Good effort. <laughs> All right, thanks. So, we're going to make our way through here. And you'll notice there is a house in the middle of this fenced area. So, let's head inside of the house. And you can see this young lady in here with a... I think it's a Fero. Queen! <laughs> All right, there's a Fero. Talk to that Fero. Now, we'll talk to the uh, young lady over here. Oh, dear. You found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. And she gives us HMO2, which is fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Yeah, fly is actually a really awesome move. It's a two-turn move. If you use it with your Pokemon, it will fly up in the air. It's kind of like dig. You fly up in the air, no one will, will be able to hit you, and then you strike on the next turn. But it also works as a great means of transportation. You can use fly in order to fly to previous cities that you've been to, or, you know, I guess they're all cities. Yeah, I was going to say cities or towns. You can fly to any place you've already been that is a city. So let's teach fly to Oswald, and let's get rid of wing attack. We only need one flying move on Charizard. And beautiful! Charizard is learning fly. Awesome. Oswald learn fly. Beautiful. Okay, you know what? Let's let's teach some TMs to some people. What do we want to do here? Let's give Hyper Beam to somebody. And let's teach Hyper Beam to Nancy. Awesome. We're gonna get rid of one of those fighting type moves because she already has one with Brick Break, so we'll get rid of double kick for Hyper Beam. One, two, and poof! Nancy forgot double kick and machine set. Dun 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 dun. Nancy learned hyper beam. Awesome. Okay, let's see here. Reflect. What does that do? 
A wall of light cuts damage from physical and attacks for five turns. Let's teach that to somebody. Wow, and nobody can even learn it. All right, I'm guessing that means nobody can learn safeguard. Son of a bitch. All right, what else can we use here? Oh, I have aerial ace. That's actually a decent move. It can never miss, which is awesome. So, actually, let's teach aerial ace to Foxy. Okay. So, we're going to teach that to Foxy. And what are we going to get rid of? Let's get rid of Growl. Yeah, we need some better moves on Foxy because right now she is just so fucking frail. All right. So, we're going to teach that to Foxy. And beautiful. Foxy learned Aerial Ace. So, yeah, if your opponent ever uses Sand Attack on you or any move like that that will lower your accuracy, Aerial Ace will never miss. All right. What else have we got here? Thief, Secret Power, Rock Tomb, Shockwave. All right. I guess that that's it. That's all we needed to do there. Okay, so now let's make our way back into Celadon City. Excuse me, sir. Alrighty then. Now would be a great time to go pick up our Eevee. So, in order to do that, you need an open slot in your party. So we will go and put Thomas into the PC. So let's go do that. And in the meantime, we can listen to the awesome Celadon music. But unfortunately, now it's off. And here comes the Pokemon Center music. It's been a while since we've accessed the PC, so let's boot it up. Okay. And the storage system opens. Now let's... Oh, hey, Ronald! How you doing, buddy? Haven't seen you in quite some time. Ronald, help us defeat Gym Leader Brock in Episode 3, I believe. All right, so Thomas, we'll put you in there for now. Now let's go pick up our motherfucking Eevee. Wait till you guys hear this nickname that I got cooked up. All right. So to go get Eevee, you're going to make your way here behind the Pokemon Center and go into the back of the Pokemon... Not the Pokemon. The Celadon Mansion. I keep calling this fucking thing the Pokemon Mansion, but it's not. The Celadon Mansion. The Pokemon Mansion is on Cinnabar Island. We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> All right, so let's go into this little room over here. Let's talk to this guy. There is nothing that I don't know like I wrote on the blackboard. I know about the world of Pokemon and your Game Boy Advance. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading Pokemon. All right, that guy actually had nothing to do with the Eevee. Let's let's click his blackboard. Pokemon lecture, playing with the wireless adapter. Which heading do you want to read? Yeah, you know what? We're not gonna. No, no, I didn't mean to click that. Damn it, we don't want to read this shit. Why did I click the blackboard? All right, and if you notice, here is a Pokeball. Let's click it. And beautiful, we have got Eevee. And yes, we will be get. Damn it, she's a female. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You know what? I don't care that she's a female. I had this nickname planned, and this is the nickname she's gonna get. We- I expected this to be a male, but what are you gonna do? We are gonna name Eevee. Wait for it. Wait for it. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? BAM! Her name is gonna be- Nope, not Kanye's. Kanye West! If we can fit it. Yes, we can. Beautiful. So, Eevee's name is Kanye West. I absolutely love it. Now we got our brand new Eevee over here. Let's check her out. Man, I'm really pissed off that she's a girl because I really want to name her Kanye West. But you know what? Screw it. Her name's Kanye West, and we are not changing that nickname. Okay, awesome. Now, it is time to evolve our Eevee. Where the hell is our Thunderstone? Here is our Thunderstone. All right, so let's come over here. And it is time for Kanye West to evolve. Jolteon! Yes! Yeah, buddy! Awesome! Kanye West has evolved into a Jolteon. Let's check this bad boy out. Oh, man. Kanye West, baby. And look at that special attack and speed. This thing is an absolute tank. So, let's teach it a TM now that we have it. I think we have that TM from uh, Lieutenant Surge. I think it was... What was it? Shockwave? Is that what it's called? Uh, Shockwave, yes. So, let's teach Shockwave to Kanye West. All 
Alrighty then. Which move will be forgotten? And let's get rid of Growl. One, two, and poof! Kanye West forgot Growl and... Machine Set. I love these animations, man. They are so fucking badass. Kanye West learned Shockwave. Awesome. Alright, so we took care of that. Now let's make our way to the Game Corner. So, let's do... I think it's called the Game Corner. Yeah, the Game Corner. <laughs> Alright, let's head down the steps here. I hate traveling down steps. It takes forever. And make our way out. Beautiful. So now we will head south in Celadon City. Okay. But before we go in there, let's go down here. I believe this is the restaurant. I could be wrong. Let's see. Yes, here is the restaurant. And if you come up here and talk to this guy, you will get another cool item. Go ahead, left. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Yeah, I won't be needing this anymore. And this guy gives you the coin case. So what the coin case allows you to do is to gamble at the game corner. I think, again, I think that's what it's called. We'll find out, find out right now. So yeah, with that item, you can gamble at the game corner. And if you get enough coins, you can go into this little building right here and get some cool, uh, some cool prizes. I don't really recommend doing it. The, the amount of time you're going to put into the, uh, getting the money for this place is absurd. You really, I mean, unless you want one of the, uh, unique Pokemon. What the fuck is this place called? Oh, let me go read the sign. Because I've been calling it the Game Corner, and I really hope that's what it's called. So let's check out the sign right here, and... Yes, the Rocket Game Corner. I was correct. Thank God. I really didn't feel like correcting that. <laughs> I knew it was the Game Corner. I fucking knew it. All right, anyway... So now, if you notice, there is a Team Rocket Grunt back here, so let's talk to him. I'm guarding this poster! Go away or else! Alright, so this guy wants to battle. I wonder what a Team Rocket Grunt could possibly be doing in the game corner. Kinda strange, if you ask me. But anyway, this guy's gotta eradicate. And damn it, Boris. Oh, Boris is about to die. So let's switch out and go over to Pasquale. All right, Boris, come back. That's enough. And here comes Pasquale. And Raticate's going to use Hyper Fang. I don't think that'll do too much damage. Beautiful. So let's use a Magnitude. And this Raticate's going to use a Quick Attack, but no big deal. And beautiful. Magnitude 8. That should take out this Raticate. Magnitude 8. Should take out this Raticate. <laughs> All right, down goes the Raticate. And Pasquale and Boris get some useful experience. And now we got a zoop. Oh, why did I stay in? That was stupid. Actually, it wasn't stupid. Let's use Rock Slide. I think that's super effective. And it is! Beautiful! And down goes the Zubat. Awesome. See you later, Zubat. It was nice knowing you. And damn, I already forgot the voice that, the rock that I gave to the Rocket Grunt. So this might be a completely different voice that I just did. Because I'm almost certain he talks to you again. But what are you going to do? All right. So we defeat the Rocket Grunt. Awesome. The Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. I better tell the boss. And he leaves. Where the fuck did he just go? I'll let you guys in on a little secret. If you click this sign... Hey! A switch behind the poster! Let's push it! Look at that! We got a staircase! So... In the next episode, guys, we will be heading down that staircase and seeing what exactly is going on down there. So that wraps up episode 15. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151, and I will see you guys next time.